Warriors, warrior man here, class begins right now. No matter how many years you've lived up till now, no matter how many years you have yet to live, <clears throat> no matter how many cups you've made in your life, in the time you've had on this planet, no matter how much of that time you've wasted over and over and over, right now is the moment you have. That's all you've got. Right now, as you're watching me, you should be here now. Where are you? Where are you right now? Because most people can't concentrate on anything longer than 30 seconds. And I hope, I hope, I hope you can be honest with me and tell me that you're looking right at me right now. You realize that I'm giving you my total undivided attention because I want your mindset about yourself and about the world at large to change right now. And we're gonna start with two things. Most people will say about virtues, virtues being those things <clears throat> that you put in action that lead to positive good consequences. Vices being those things you do that lead to bad and negative consequences. Most people will say about virtues that the most important virtue to have is courage. That all the other virtues will follow from courage. Or the most important virtue is integrity, honesty, or perseverance. Whichever one they choose is the most important one. They say that's the first one. You do that one, you practice that one, you put that one into action, all the other ones will follow. I disagree. The most important virtue that you need to have at play, that you need to have buried deep inside of you and it needs to be operating at its optimal levels all the time, 24 seven, is your belief, your belief in yourself. Because if you don't believe first that who you are, this being that you are, this human being you are, your life here on this planet is of a value, is of a value in and of itself worth something, then those other virtues won't mean anything to you at all. They won't have any worthiness to you at all. Even if you happen to stumble by mistake or by accident across putting them into action once in a while, the first thing, the first virtue you need to have operating at 100% is your belief in yourself. Time to rise and shine again. That you're getting another day, another opportunity to do something great in this great life that you came here to live. Be a real shame if you do. I am here today to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming with the Truth Bulletin. And when I say regularly scheduled programming, I don't mean your Super Bowl festivities. I mean your life. Yesterday was a day for letting loose, kicking back, getting wild and crazy, many different ways for many of you, but today is another day to wake up and again smell reality. To take your head out of your daydreaming ass and realize your life is real. It's not a fantasy. And it's time to quit indulging in activities and behaviors that only make you look like an idiot and only turn you into a fat ass. Unless you've got some companion, you know, or you can afford to have a self-motivator, a, a motivation coach beside you 24 hours a day to just keep you jacked up and inspired and energetic about making the right choices, you're going to have to do it yourself. You may not get it from the crowd of people that you hang with, the, the people that you consider your friends. What are you? You're an animal. You're an animal that's created by a creator and you have a unique set of skills and tools and abilities and powers that makes you more powerful than any other creation or being or animal on this planet. You have your mind. Your mind gives you a greater power than any other animal that's been created. And your potential in life lies there. It begins and ends there. What you will do in your life, where you will go in your life, is how much you believe in the power of this thing here. There are no limits on what you can learn and know with your mind and what you can achieve, how far you can push it, what kind of demands can be placed on it, what kind of challenges you can rise up to if you will only engage the power of your mind. A lot of people tend to think that 
I never had a problem or I never have any temptation for other stuff. I do, but I look at the choices I have before me, like when it comes to food, and I ask myself, what price am I going to pay? And uh, when I do indulge or have indulged, I don't like the price that I pay. But many of you, because you write me, you correspond with me, you have made a habit out of making the wrong choices when it comes to food and eating habits. And you have gotten to a place where you believe it doesn't matter anymore. And that's what I want to call these mentoring minutes. I want to call it, it does matter. It does matter. It always matters all the time. But you're surrounded by other people who also have convinced themselves that it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you work in a place, you go with a group of people to a regular lunch spot, you all go in. Um, probably in a lot of your casual conversation, most of you talk about how you don't like the way you feel all the time, that as you're getting older, you feel like you don't have the same energy that you used to have when you were younger. You don't like the way you fit in your clothes. <clears throat> it's because you've made that all a habit, a bad habit, and you can turn it around and you can develop good habits, but you're gonna to have to take small steps and you gotta start now. You have to start now with the choices that you make. And most generally, you are going to have to motivate yourself. That's just the way it is. That's why it's called self-motivation. But if you don't engage intensity or passion in your life, then you aren't living your life to its fullest. Intensity, passion for something, will outdo, will win out over knowledge, skills, talent, natural talent, natural gifts, every single time. Not that that stuff is not important, but there are many examples throughout history of people simply because they were intense, intense in an unusual, sometimes off-putting way, aggressive, assertive, determined to do what they had in their mind to do. They make monuments to those people. And those are the people that inspire me. Not because I have any idea inside of me whatsoever that I'm gonna have a monument built for me. But I want to get the most out of my life. And if you can't summon up the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm for something, then you're just, your life every day is gonna be a drag to wake up to. When you crawl out from underneath the covers every morning and you sit on the edge of the bed, you have a choice before you. I mean, we didn't make the world the way it is. It's filled with alternatives. Always will be. Until we aren't here anymore, it will always be alternatives. There will always be the good, there will always be the bad. There will always be the beautiful, there will always be the ugly. There will always be the uh, excellent, and there will always be the incompetent. There will always be what is wonderful and what is horrible. We didn't make the rules of the world. So fighting against that, that fact, that axiomatic truth that the world is created of alternatives is just a waste of energy. But spending your energy on your choices that you make every day is where the secret lies. But it isn't just about making PRs in the weight room. It's about living a strong life. And you start with power and self-belief and that you are a unique individual. This thumbprint makes you different from the other six billion people on this planet. And it stands for something. It's not for nothing. And you need to believe that with all that you are. Every cell of your body needs to believe that that you are one of a kind, that you are an original, and that you will not apologize for it at all. The lying can stop right now. The lying you do to yourself every day when you push back against the greatness that wants to come out of you. From now on, you do not give the benefit of the doubt to the rest of the world and all the other people on this planet. You take your head out of the world's ass. You start thinking for yourself and you realize 
that not everybody on this planet wants to be a leader. Not everybody on this planet wants to do something great in their lives. Like you, feel that voice inside of you, urging you on to do. No, you stop. You don't apologize anymore for this greatness that lies in you and this desire you have to want to bring it alive. No more, no more at all. The world needs fucking leaders and it needs you. And that's why you're here. That's why you stepped up to the edge of the cliff. You weren't afraid and you're jumping off in free fall without a parachute. And you're gonna figure things out on the way down. That's what we're gonna do here at Warrior University. From here on out, stop lying to yourself.